Hello, page hunters. This is Lamar here, and we are in Lockhart Indigo. Now, this is the itch.io uh, horror game. So, I don't know much about this game, apart from the fact that it's an interesting style, that's for sure. So, here we go. Okay, so that's move, X is menu, space is interact, shift, and skip text. Okay. Here we go. Good afternoon, Mr. Volkov. The usual two wine glasses. Mrs. Volkov won't be joining. She won't? Go in the bathroom. Make yourself pretty for me. It'll just be the two of us tonight. Just the two of us, Mr. Volkov? Is there a problem? No, not at all, Mr. Volkov. I'm glad to hear so. After all. It's what you were designed to do? My hair looks stunningly today. Humans use this to wash, so I'm a robot. Humans use this to pee. Alright. Looks about Russian cuisine. Empty except for the open bottle wine. Okay. Japanese cuisine. Volkov! Can you get the phone? With pleasure, Mr. Volkov. Hello? Ah. Hi, dear. I need what a little favor. Pretty please. What? Oh, I feel fuzzy. Who was it? I mean, no one. Calm down. Everything is fine. Activate kill, activate kill mode. <laughs> oh wow! Who left this laying around? I better tidy up the place. Well, jeez. Kill mode activated. Projector is running. What is this talking about? It looks like I... What? Okay? Okay then! Tech's not gonna show up, so... I gotta restart it now. Let's try this again. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Whoa. What the hell? Okay. Let me try one more time. Alright, one more time. <coughs> okay, come on now. So far, I ran into a couple bugs. Uh, obviously the image uh, running down the screen and the text not scrolling on that one page. Okay, let's try this again.
Okay. Uh, so what does this say? Looks like a testament. Are you almost ready? I'm on my way. <coughs> Hello, Mr. Volkop. Hey, hey. Honey? What is that in your hand? Lockhart Indigo. Excuse me, who are you? Mrs. Summers. I'm here to see the widow. One moment. Make it quick. Thank you for the wait. She's ready to see you. I'll call an escort for you. I can walk myself. Thank you. Noir scene. That's for sure. Beautiful. Yeah, everyone's locked themselves in. Miss Summers. Ah, yeah. Welcome to the Volkov Mansion. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Ishta. I'm sorry about your husband. Mrs. Ishta. It's strange to hear my old name. Ever since I married Evan. The family called me Miss Volkov, but now that he's gone, am I still a Volkov? <clears throat> Sorry, I... This is it! <coughs> it's nice to finally meet you, Miss Beatrice. I'm sure you have many questions. Yes, ma'am. A few. <sighs> Where are you already? You'll find me in the study wing. Which is that way? It's definitely a uh, Game Boy S style. Uh, thank you, Beth. Was one money now. You she gave. Oh, she implying she's a killer. What's with the blood here? What a mess. I gotta find the body. This kind of reminds me... This kind of reminds me of the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Oh, the Alright, here we go. <coughs> She's waiting for you. Oh, the fire's going. Find my husband in the dining hall. You want me to find the culprit? Precisely. Now, I ain't no cop. I'm a private detective. So my question is, why haven't you informed the police? Can I trust you, detective? I'm listening. Someone in the family is setting me up. They want me out of the family business. All eyes are on me. I need an ally. How much are we talking? $36 up front, $6 per hour. Uh, what year is this? <coughs> because depending on the year, that's actually pretty decent. $50 up front, 8 per hour. I just lost my husband. Food, shelter, transport. I need to cover my cost. Beatrice, I'm scared. I know. Okay. 50 up front, 8 per hour. It's settled. Thank you, detective. I hope my name can be cleared. Don't worry, ma'am. You're not alone anymore. <coughs> Before you leave here, a pair of earrings. It's a communication device. Now we can talk from a distance. Hello, Beatrice. Understood. I'll find a witness and get back to you. 
Well, there's a key in there. I can't go in there, so... Alright, what do... A key to the manufacturing. Lloyd has one. Jeez. This crafty door is locked. Okay. Oh. Lloyd found the body on his podium. It's roughly 10 p.m. He cried in the arms of a maid. Okay. Okay, uh... Lloyd found Evan's body. Her ego. They have thing will budge. You know, the dreamer? The genius? Andy man? The businessman? So I guess I gotta find Lord. Whoa! Oh god! We must clean the stain. Jeez! Robots! This <coughs> gate's locked. Team building exercise, okay. So, okay, damn, and starch. Okay. Guess I gotta find Scott. Alright, alright, alright. Unlocked a test mine. I was told Lloyd found Irving's body. Looked up to Evan like the father. His actual father is unavailable. <coughs> that father is bitter like his. He's a good kid, did deep down. You should speak with him. He may not like. He may not be handling this death well. Okay? This will open the front gate. The one in the main hall leads upstairs. Lloyd's room is upstairs to the right. Maybe even her. She seems isolated. Easily affected by adversity. Desperate for protection. Oh, this is all an act. Vulnerability. Okay. Well. 
Let's get that key. Boy turned 16. Young age to lose family. Do you have family? Why is that so why is that important? What's that? <coughs> All right. Okay, so here's a save. You're the dreamer. And the genius. Okay. Let's see, pardon my intrusion. What the hell is. We are here to serve. That's why we're made. Move. You're not welcome to your. Fuck you! Hey, Baldy! Are you always an ass? <laughs> you, watch your fucking mouth! I'm investigating a murder. Someone tells me to back off. I assume they're hiding something. So, how about you watch your mouth, Baldy? You little shit. How dare you. Evan was my brother. For all I know, she did it. Who? That cut you're working for. You two are nothing but gold diggers. You freaking boob. Do me a favor, leave my family alone. Especially my boy. You're... Aggressive? A cunt. I'm sorry you heard that. Alright, so... Let's see, what do we have here? Alright. Uh... Hello, you. Hey kid, you're Lloyd, right? Yeah, so what? <coughs> you unlocked testimony? You're the first person, you're the first finest one. Well, yeah, in the dining room. He was seated, his body slouched to the side, and his neck was... My favorite uncle was... <coughs> gone. Out of this heart. Obviously, I was a man about it. Blood doesn't bother me. Blood? Oh yeah. Gallons of it everywhere. Where the maid showed up, I acted tough. Made an example of myself, you know. Because some of them were crying. Jerk. I didn't cry. Right. Presented by the right facts. May reveal contradiction. Easily affected by how you <coughs> Okay. But at least I know where to find him. I just don't have enough clues though. Who are you? Oh, 
key to Ivan's office. Schmidt had one. Alright, alright. Okay, let's head this way. Okay, music died in there. Uh, nursing center. Oh, that ain't good. Well, I don't have any exit. It must stay rational. But who are you? Hello, my name is Dr. Keith Bridge. How may I help you, miss? No, unrelated. What is it like, Doc? Working on the bot. The general public doesn't understand. Simpletons look at my work with disgust. Well, you ought to see is sacrilegious. Frankly, I can't understand their point of view. Can't they see my diligence? All the hard work? I am the finest minds of the era. I see. I asked him about war. He changed the subject on to public perception. Then he answered the question. Then it is all wrong. All the out of comments. Okay. Hello there. Small blood stain there. History. The dead body of him. Of the blood, the suits were spotless. <coughs> Cause of death was it takes cold blood. So we're in the doctor's ward. Hmm. To do such a thing. Or a blind rage. Welcome back. Hello here. Doc, what happened to Mr. Vulcan? I'm temporarily sorry. I cannot share private information. What do you mean? I need details, Doc. My hands are tied. Persuasive skills are not available. Ah, I didn't want that. Hmm. Flatter them. Uh, warp tactics. It proves you're a diligent person. Oh, I'm a. Uh. I know you want to. I'm glad you do. So, drop it. Ouch. Not the but. Okay, well... the right intuitions, ironwork gives way, and the heart spills its secrets. Alright, you made your point. Here are the gruesome details. A crude laceration abroad the trachea, 
though, right here. The weapon was not clean nor sharp. It's an old rusty old tool, stuff like that. Jugular vein and cardioid artery split. 1.3 gallons of blood gone within minutes. The man lose 10% of his body weight, but his suit is still blood free. A troubling detail. You don't think the clothes were changed? This is not my place to speculate. I also noted defensive wounds, this time from a sharp weapon. Huh. I found the key. This key I have as well. It leads to his bedroom downstairs, tied to his neck. Okay, so. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie, this is very interesting. Uh. <coughs> I'm probably gonna call the episode here. Uh. But overall, it's definitely an interesting. Uh, detective. Uh, style. Noir? Noir style? Horror game? Horror? Mystery game? Maybe? But, uh. Yeah, the game's very interesting. Obviously, the two bugs at the close to the beginning of the video pretty much were the only detractors, but overall, the fact that you gotta persuade your targets, kinda like, uh. Uh. I'm not sure what tabletop game, but like, a tabletop, uh, resistance or something like that, where you gotta persuade and pick up cues from your opponent. It's definitely, it seems to play like that. Uh, but yeah, <coughs> aesthetically, I like how they, the devs put in like the Game Boy style, almost like Pokemon, except like with uh, truth, truths and deceit and all that. So that's actually a nice choice. On the dev side. Uh, so on that note, uh, thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw, throw this video a like. And if you want to see more concepts like this, subscribe to my channel. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.